I love this logical grip training aid and it will help you with both chipping and pitching. It has a lateral movement to it. You can go up or down, uh, a rotary component to it, and then the ability to supinate or hold the wrist. You can see how it swivels this way. And that's what you want for your short game. You don't want a lot of wrist through short game because there's too much energy in the club head. You want the club head to be dead. I think Phil Mickelson describes it best. He calls it hinge and hold. And that's what we'd like to teach um, by using this logical wrist. So to practice your chipping, just take a setup with your feet not too far apart, knees pushed forward, weight on the left, and then basically you swivel the logical wrist going back and then you pull. Swivel and pull. Swivel and pull. If the strings hit you on your leg, you simply change your position a little bit so you have more freedom. So for chipping, you'll see my head steady. I'm really pulling this way. You can see the tension in the strings. My knees are helping me a little bit. And that's what this teaches you, this kinesis unit with the logical wrist really teaches you the correct muscles that you need even for the smaller shots. So you'll see how the hands continue past impact, keeping the club head behind. And that's exactly what you want. You don't want a situation where the club head goes whipping past you. If you were to rehearse the pitching, you'd widen your stance and now you'll see to get the correct movement through the ball, I need more energy from my hips. And that's what's so fantastic about kinesis. There's more tension the further I go, I'll go away from the machine. And so I can feel I need now the bigger muscles to hit the pitch shot. Whereas in the chipping, I didn't need my hips as much. So basically it's a movement of hinge and hold. Hinge and hold. And this, doing it smoothly and with repetition, will give you a nice even stroke on the short shots.